Hi everyone. Today we're going to be creating an interactive welcome back to school project and we're going to be using Scratch to code this activity. And hey, if you're new to coding or you need a refresher, I suggest that you check out my Learn to Code YouTube channel, which will get you up to speed pretty quickly. I also suggest that you subscribe to my channel because I post videos quite regularly. Anyways, let's get started with today's activity. So I'm already at the Scratch website, so that's scratch.mit.edu. I'm going to click on the Create button because we're creating a brand new project today. So I'm going to click on Create right up there. Once we get to the site, I'm going to get rid of the Scratch cat. So I'm going to click on the Garbage Can. So goodbye to the cat. And I'm going to do that by clicking on the Garbage Can. Goodbye. And I'm going to get a backdrop because right now we've got a plain, boring, white backdrop. So I'm going to go get a school-themed backdrop. And there's a few for you to choose from. You can choose whichever one you like. I like the playground. So I'm going to go way down here and click on this Choose a Backdrop. I'm going to scroll down to find Playground right there. And I'm going to double click. So one, two. Perfect. There you go. So I'm going to pause there for now. It's your turn now. You can go to the Scratch website. So scratch.mit.edu. Go get rid of the cat. So click the garbage can and then click way down here and choose a school themed backdrop. Then when you're ready for the next part, I'll be here waiting. Okay, now that I have my school themed backdrop, I'm going to go get a character to explain what to do in our activity. So I'm going to go down here and choose a sprite right there. I'm going to try to find a person. There's lots for you to choose from. The one I like for today's activity is Jordan. And you can choose whichever one you want. I'm going to choose Jordan. There's Jordan right there. Because I kind of like soccer and I think at school we play a lot of soccer. So I'm going to click Jordan. I'm going to move Jordan way down here into the corner. So I'm just going to grab her and move her down here. And I'm going to have her say a couple of things. So watch how I code Jordan. See, there's no coding for her just yet. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to this yellow button right there, events right there. And I'm going to grab this green flag. So I'm going to grab it and drag it over here and let go. Perfect. I'm just going to make it a bit bigger so you can see it at home. There we go. When the green flag is clicked. So when the green flag is clicked, I'm going to have Jordan give a welcome statement. Say something to welcome everybody. So I'm going to go to the purple looks button right there. Looks. And I'm going to grab the say hello. Okay. And instead of saying hello, I'm going to click in this box and she's going to say welcome to our school, Fieldcrest or whichever school you like to put in there. So welcome to Fieldcrest. Let's see what happens. Ready? Green flag and go. See, Jordan says, welcome to Fieldcrest for two seconds. Now I'm going to have her say something else. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab another one of these say hello ones. And I'm going to click it and attach it right there. Perfect. I'm going to click in there and backspace and get rid of the hello. And uh, Jordan's going to say, the best school in Ontario. No, look, the best school in Canada. No. Hey, how about this? The best school in the universe for two seconds. So when the green flag is clicked, she's going to say, welcome to Fieldcrest, the best school in the universe. And one more thing, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab another say hello, attach it down there. And she's going to give some instructions. Click on the different sprites for a surprise. There we go. So when you click on a different sprites, things will happen. We have to tell people that so they know what to do in the game. So now I went to the choose a sprite button. I chose Jordan. You can choose whichever sprite you like. I like Jordan for this one. And then I said green flag. When the green flag is clicked, say welcome to Fieldcrest. Say the best school in the universe. And say click on different sprites for a surprise. And you can find these purple say buttons in the purple looks button right there at the top say hello so i'm gonna pause there let everybody catch up go choose a character sprite and have your character say something like welcome to the school the best school in the universe and click on the different sprites for a surprise and if you get stuck look at my screen right here so you can keep up all right hey if you have any um questions just take a look here and when you're ready for the next part i'll be here waiting all right, now next, I'm going to get a huge letter G for a grade. And uh, I'm going to do that by clicking on a Sprites button. So choose a Sprite right there. I'm going to go all the way down, and you'll find a letter G for grade. Uh, I like these, this greenish colored one, so I'm going to grab a G right there. So I'm going to double-click the G. 
And I'm going to make it a bit bigger. It's kind of small right now. See, it's 100% right now. I'm going to make it 150%. So make it just a little bit bigger so it stands out a bit more. So perfect right there. And I'm going to put it here. You can put it wherever you want. I'm going to put it right about there. Now look what I'm going to do, how I'm going to code it. When someone playing the game touches it or clicks it, it's going to do something. So now I'm going to go to the events button and scroll down when this sprite is clicked right there. So I'm going to drag this over. So look, when someone clicks this sprite, when this sprite is clicked, it's going to change its color. And the color is in the looks button, the purple one right there. I'm going to scroll down to change color effect by 25. Wonderful. So let's see if that works. Ready? Green flag. So Jordan's talking. But watch when I click it. It changes its color. Click again. Click again. Click again. And I'm going to keep doing that except one problem. I'm getting a sore finger and a blister on it from clicking so much. So look what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to drag this down a little bit. I'm going to go to the control button. It's orangish. And just put a forever loop around it. So forever change color effect by 25 and I'm going to connect those. So when you click this, it's going to change color effect over and over and over again forever and ever. So let's see if that works. Ready? Green flag. There's Jordan talking. Now watch what happens when I click it. It's click. It's changing color really fast. I might slow it down just a little bit. Uh, watch. I'm going to click the stop sign. I'm going to go to this wait one second and drag that in there and connect it right inside the forever loop. So when a sprite is clicked forever, change color, wait a second. Change color, wait a second, over and over, forever and ever. So let's see how that looks. Ready, green flag and go. Oh, it's changing color, but it's going kind of slowly. So look what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make it go, instead of one second, something smaller than one second. So maybe zero point, uh, let's try two. Zero point, you're going to have to experiment a little bit for whatever works best for you. Let me hit the green flag. Ready and go. I like that. That's good. So I've coded the letter G. Say I went down there, I chose a sprite, I scrolled all the way down to the bottom and I got the letter G. And then I coded so that when the sprite is clicked, it forever changes its color effect and wait 0.2 and just do that forever and ever. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the letter R for grade. So watch how I do that. I'm going to go down here, scroll all the way down to the bottom, get the letter R. Come on, R. Uh, there we go. There, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Right now it's 100. I'm going to make it 150. Perfect. I'm going to move it up here beside it. I'm going to code it exactly the same way as the G. So when the sprite is clicked, drag that over, change color effect, change color effect. See, it's in the looks button to change color effect. That's purple, so it's in the purple one. And then I'm going to put a forever around it and a wait 0 0.2. Wait 0 0.2 and connect those. So now the R should be doing the same thing. So the G and the R, perfect. So I'm going to pause there, let everybody catch up. And if you're stuck, please take a look at my code. And while you're working on it, I'm going to do one more. I'm going to put a letter or grade six, maybe so the number six or the grade number seven or four, whatever grade you're in, you should put that there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put a number right there. Um, and then when you're ready for the next part, I'll be here waiting. Okay, so while you were coding away, I also did a little bit more coding. I got the number seven, so I have grade seven up here, and I coded the number seven to change color effect uh, forever and wait 0.2 seconds. So I've got this nice interactive uh, grade seven up there. Next, I'm gonna get a sprite, something that represents school to me. So I'm gonna go down here and look for something that represents school. Of course, an apple might work. There's lots of things that you could choose that represents school for you. Guitar, drums, um, a pencil might work for some people right there. For me, what I'm going to choose is a soccer ball because we do a lot of soccer at my school. So I'm going to choose a soccer ball right there. And I'm going to move the soccer ball just there for now. So now look what I'm going to have the soccer ball do. I'm going to have it follow my mouse pointer. So see my big uh, black arrow mouse pointer? I'm going to have it follow that wherever I go. It's a cool effect. Watch how I do that. So when this sprite is clicked, so when you click on the soccer ball, when this sprite is clicked, the soccer ball, when you click on it, it's going to turn and look at my mouse pointer. So I'm going to go to the motion button, look at mouse pointer, point towards the mouse pointer. Yeah. So point towards the mouse pointer, my black arrow there, point towards it. 
Then move 10 steps. Where is that? It's at the top here of the blue one. Move 10 steps. And then I'm going to put a forever around it. So that's in the control again. A forever loop right there. So now look what's going to happen for the soccer ball. When someone clicks on a soccer ball, it's going to point towards my mouse pointer, move 10 steps. Point towards the mouse pointer, move 10 steps. And do that forever and ever. Let's see what happens. Ready? Green flag and go. Watch. I'm going to click the soccer ball. See, it's following my mouse pointer, except it's going way too fast. Yikes. I'm going to make it slow down a bit. I'm going to go get the weight one second and put it right in there. So let's see. Ready? Green flag and follow the mouse pointer. Oh, that's way too slow. One second. That's way too long. So I'm going to make it, uh, let's say, 0 0.2 again. Let's try that. That seems to be working today for everything. So ready, green flag, click the soccer ball, and it's following my mouse pointer around perfectly. Wonderful. You can make it go faster or slower, but it is following my mouse pointer. So what I'd like you to do now is to go and get another sprite. So choose a sprite, something that represents school to you. I chose a soccer ball. You can choose anything you want. And then code it so that whenever someone clicks your sprite, like the soccer ball, when the sprite is clicked, the soccer ball or whatever you choose will forever point to the mouse pointer, move 10 steps, wait 0.2 seconds, and then do that forever and ever. Hey, if you get stuck, please, please take a look at my code. And when you're ready for the next part, I'll be here waiting. All right, next, I'm going to get another sprite, something else that represents your school. And I'm going to have it glide all over the screen randomly. And for me, the one I'm going to get is the grasshopper or dragonfly. We seem to have a lot of those around our school. And I'm going to click the dragonfly right there. You can choose whatever you want. I like the dragonfly. And it's awfully big right now. I'm going to make the dragonfly really small, maybe uh, 30%. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's hard to see, but dragonflies are kind of tiny. Now watch how I code the dragonfly. It's going to glide all over the screen randomly. So I'm going to again go and get uh, when the sprite is clicked. When this sprite is clicked, so when someone clicks on a sprite, it's going to glide to a random position. That's in the motion button right there, motion. Glide to a random position right there. Glide for one second to a random position. And I'm going to have it go on forever and ever. So I'm going to put a forever loop around that. So, dragonfly, like we have at our school, it's going to just glide all around. Watch this. Ready? Green flag. I'm going to click on it, and it's just going to go on its own all over the place. Again, when I click on the letters, they're going to do stuff. The ball's going to follow me around. Dragonfly's going. Uh, Jordan is talking. Pretty good so far. Hey, I'm going to pause there for now. Uh, it's your turn again, so go and find another sprite, something else that represents our school. I chose a dragonfly. You can choose whatever you want. And then have it glide to a random position forever and ever when someone clicks it like that. If you get stuck, please, please take a look at my code. And when you're ready for the next part, I'll be here waiting. All right, next, it's up to you to start adding more things to make this more and more interactive. So I'm going to show you a couple examples. You can maybe try them if you like or do whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to choose another sprite. I'm going to choose a dancer. And there's a good dancer here, Champ99. I like Champ. So I'm going to click on Champ. It's way too big. I'm going to make him smaller. I'm going to make him about 25% and put him in the backdrop. Maybe 30%. That's a bit too small. 30. There he is right there. And I'm going to put him way back here in the backdrop. Now watch what I'm going to do with Champ. See, I'm on Champ right now. Champ has a whole bunch of different costumes. They're all dance costumes. See those? He's going to be a good dancer. So watch how I'm going to code Champ. I'm going to click it so that when this sprite is clicked, he changes costumes. He has many different costumes right there. I'm going to make it so that he changes costumes uh, over and over again. So I'm going to go to the looks button and click next costume. And then I'm going to put a forever around that. So forever, go to the next costume over and over again when the sprite is clicked. So let's see what happens. Ready? Green flag and click on champ. Oh my, it's going way too fast. Hold on, i got to slow champ down. Uh, one second, we know that's going to be too long. So I'm going to maybe make it again 0.2. That seems to be working today. He's ready, green flag, and click on champ. And he's changing costumes, so he's dancing. So that's great. So that's another interactive piece. So uh, you can do something like that if you like. And I'm going to do one more. So I'm going to click on choose a sprite. I'm going to go down and get the sun. There's a sprite for the sun. Sun. Where is it there? Right there. Sun. I'm going to put it way back here. 
And I'm going to click it so that, or set it up so that when you click it, it turns and it rotates. So watch how I code the sun. When this sprite is clicked, uh, I want it to turn 15 degrees. It's in the motion button right there. Turn 15 degrees. And to do that, forever and ever. Forever and ever. So there's that. So when you click the sun, it starts turning. Perfect. Uh, champ is dancing. The ball is following my mouse pointer. The letters are changing colors. Uh, the dragonfly is flying all around. Uh, I might also get a tree and add a tree and a nice backdrop right there. There's lots of trees. I might also get a robot because we do a lot of robotics at my school and have a robot there and a robot will say something when you click on it and make a computer noise. That's kind of cool. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. It's up to you to add more and more stuff uh, going on in the project and I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope to see you again next time for our next activity. Have a great day everyone. Bye-bye.